YouTube, what's going on guys? Thanks for coming back, I appreciate all of you. Um, thank you for the financial support, thank you for the likes, the comments, the um, subscriptions, everything. Great, you guys definitely know how to treat this old guy. All right, so um, you guys are here because you don't wanna pay taxes, all right? So revocation of election. So what this is, now it doesn't mean you can't and don't have to pay anything, you still have to pay your state because if you've done your passport the correct way, you are a state citizen, okay? So you're loyal to the state, you're underneath that jurisdiction, and so unless you're like stateless, but that's kind of a dangerous thing to do. And real quick, stateless basically means that you are not underneath any state, you're not underneath the U.S. as a U.S. citizen. Uh, that is a way to skirt the law and to skirt taxes, but if you get into trouble, um, they could you could basically find yourself being removed from off of the physical land of the United States because you, you, you don't belong under anybody's jurisdiction, so I wouldn't. But anyway, uh, this so you still have to pay state taxes, but for those people who do not want to pay federal taxes, you've done your passport, so you're a state citizen or a non-U.S. national, national. Um, this is something that you can do. Now, a question that did come up from another viewer was basically, you know, if they're getting federal benefits right now, would, would you know, this hurt them? In all honesty, like I said, I don't provide uh, legal advice or whatever else. Uh, so that's something that you would have to find out by contacting whoever's sending you the money, right? The, the letter of that division or whatever, and ask that them directly. Okay. So it's kind of like kicking a, a hornet's nest. They might just say, no, that wouldn't affect your, you know, whatever at all. Or they might say, hey, we don't have anything about that in our law. So now we're going to we're going to make that a rule. So tread, but tread carefully, I guess. So this is for anybody can basically do this who is um, a U.S. citizen. OK, uh, a national. Anybody can use this information to remove yourself from paying federal taxes. If you're like a cop or, you know, somebody who's, you know, a federal employee or whatever else, um, you, you, you might lose your benefits. I don't know. You might want to ask that. Um, but for those people who want to or are removed from the system, this is what you need. Now you can go online and, excuse me, um, you know, find a revocation of election. You can uh, create your own. You can do your own research. Uh, by going to uh, the IRS website and, you know, getting information. If you want the one I have, it would be $100. Um, it is available. It will be in alterable format. But that's if you need it. I'm just telling you, then the information's out there. You can do it. Mine is altered a little bit, but basically um, the information is all out there. So let's get to it. Basically, it's a form you're going to send to the commissioner, um, which is basically the CEO of the IRS, and you're going to provide your social security number, your address. And the reason why up here, uh, I don't know if you can see it, I apologize. Oh, of course, the light just would do that. Anyway, right there, when you put your zip code in the brackets, you're basically saying, if you haven't watched my other videos, that this, yes, this is my zip code, but I'm not in your jurisdiction. Okay, so that's that's one of the things you want you want to put on there because anything basically in brackets like that um, means that it is not to be it is not official. Okay, so it's it's lots it from the record basically. So um, it starts off here just talking about you know, Title Twenty Six of the United States Code, a statutory legal option for those who are non-resident alien individuals to implement the termination at their discretion for any voluntary federal income tax established. Um, at 26 USC uh, 6013G, okay? It's your way to remove yourself. So that being said, uh, a non-resident alien would be um, somebody like us. It's synonymous with a state citizen, a national, um, and I believe even a non-US national as well, okay? So you're able to pull yourself out of it because you contracted in there unknowingly. OK, but now you have to remove yourself. All right. So you could probably just call them and ask them directly, uh, you know, what the file is and how to do it their way. Um, this has worked for other people. I have not actually used it myself because I just finished editing it. But this is what I'm going to be doing. OK, so let's go on and see what else they have in here. 
All right. Uh, basically, it breaks down that uh, all the definitions of a uh, U.S. citizen, you know, somebody who has been, uh, you know, either naturalized or whatever. You're basically saying that you're operating under the Constitution. Um, and like I said, the biggest the biggest things are is using their words. Um, but like I said, they, they call us non-resident aliens. OK, that doesn't sound like anything I want to be known as. Like I'm not a non-resident alien, um, but that's their terminology to hide what you really are. Obviously, they're not going to say, hey, to any person who has successfully removed themselves uh, via passport and declares themselves to be a state citizen or a national. So you, OK, you are able to not have to pay us taxes because you're not a federal employee. Sign this paperwork and never pay us money again. They're not trying to hear that. So um, it's about, let's see, it's eight pages long. And it states all of the proper uh, cases and terms. And you clarify yourself uh, by definition in here. Um, it's all easily alterable. If somebody were to buy it, all you have to do is everywhere there's a blue segment that's where my name is you pull out that put yours in there print the whole thing and then the key to this at the bottom here you make your final declaration and you want to go get it signed by a notary okay the notary notaries and i keep telling people this are super super powerful super important when they put that seal on there they're acting on behalf of the state that you're in with the state secretary's powers. We we officially see this, okay? So it's kind of like having a witness with the, the power of a state as a witness to your declaration, all right? So um, all that information is here. And then uh, there's a little private note here for the uh, commissioner, basically the CEO. So you're going to want to send that to them because you, you if you send it to just a, a regular employee behind a desk, they may not know what this is. They may refuse it. They may act like they didn't get it. Um, as with everything, I suggest you always send it with confirmation of delivery so that you have proof that you have sent it. Um, you can even go as far as recording yourself, dropping it in the mailbox. Um, you know, just record that or taking a picture of it, everything with the stamp on there and mailing it off uh, with, like I said, confirmation of delivery would be excellent. Um, and that's pretty much it. And then it just has a space for your name, address, um, all that stuff. You're declaring your rights. Um, you're letting them know the proper way on um, removing yourself and the fact that you basically contracted into it without knowing and uh, how you should be addressed and that you're also going to... Um, never take part in their um uh in a re-election you're, you're not going to ever knowingly recontract with them okay so that's kind of one of the things i put in there um where you're basically saying that you know uh this is my official stance and that even if an employer uh, or whoever happens to use my information, you know, or it's, you know, fraud, somebody else understand that this is going to hold and that I'm not going to uh, be party to that. OK, it's all worded a little bit more professional than what I just said. Um, and basically, that's it. Uh, what you would also have to do is any employer you're currently working with, um, you're going to have to change your filing status with them. Um, and. Because obviously you don't want them taking out your, your federal taxes. This is what that letter is going to do is stop them from doing that. Okay. So once you change, once you do all this, you then have to update your employer. Okay. Uh, once you update your employer, they're going to ask for how do you want to then file. And that's where this letter comes in at because I have that information on what you're going to then, the forms you're going to then give them. Okay. So I guess that's my shtick, if you will, uh, for you guys to buy it uh, from me. But like I said, all this information is online. You can find it by hunting around um, and putting it all together yourself. So that's pretty much it, guys. So if your desire is to not pay federal taxes because you don't like that uh, lump sum coming out of it, um, just know that you have the right to, uh, to, to have it stopped. So you can keep your money. You can stop feeding the beast. So... 
I see that we're at 10 minutes. Thank you guys. I try to keep these short and just give you a lot of information, real powerful. Um, and you know, try to keep it low. Um, but it's just a lot of information and I didn't even, I didn't even cover all of it. Obviously you can see. So if you want it, you know where to get it. The information for that is down below. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate all of you. Uh, thanks for hitting the bell, the like, the subscribe, and sending this uh, to your friends and family. Once again, it's not legal advice. Um, it's just information for entertainment purposes only. All right. So that's about it. I will talk to you later. Have a great day. And I have um, a list of more videos to make because every time I talk to somebody, they're like, hey, you know, keep keep coming with it. Bring all that information. Um, and then they actually, some people are working with me, uh, like, Hey, you should do one on this or, you know, we come across some new information. So staying busy. So don't forget to support your boy guys. Uh, thanks. Bad Wolf is over and out.